Hey there, Lincoln Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lincoln Riff, in which I'm going to show you a completely new way to play the B minor scale. I'm talking about playing B minor, but in an open G setting. Okay, now don't be afraid, it's actually pretty simple, but you can get an insane amount of tension out of the B minor scale if you play it in an open G setting. So what I'm going for is something like this. You see? So much tension. Now, um, in case this was a little bit too far out for you, then just bear with me and I'm gonna break it down for you so you can understand what's going on. Uh, but this was B minor. Um, all right, so you need to tune the guitar to open G. Open G is D, G, D, G, B, and D. So um, strings uh, one and six go down to D, so you have three D strings. The, that's right, man. Uh, the second string remains the same, the third string remains the same, and the A string, the fifth string, goes down from A to G. So you have D, G, D, G, B, and D. Right, so this is now G, right? Put three fingers, okay? Leave the four finger free, okay? Your index finger free. Use these three fingers on strings five, four, and three on the fourth fret. And you're gonna get, okay? You're gonna get B5, which we're gonna turn. Okay, into B minor by playing the B minor scale. And we have the minor note as well, D, as our high note, okay? So, by just playing this, you have B minor. If you're only playing this, you have B5. You get it? You get the logic? You have the notes you're playing with your, you're uh, manipulating on the guitar with your fingers are B5, right? because there's no major or minor note. But three on the second string, which is the same as the open first string now, is a D note, turning this into B minor. This is why this is B minor. Now, you can use, okay? You can use um, different notes to enhance this sound. Okay, but uh, I just want to remind you, in case you haven't been following Lick and Riff lately, that there are now two weekly lessons here on Lick and Riff. Two weekly lessons made available by the kind people among you who support me on Patreon and by the Complete Guitar Freedom course series. Um, all of you support Lick and Riff and everything goes right back into making you two weekly lessons. Now, if this is the first time you're hearing about the Lick and Riff Patreon or my course series, the Complete Guitar Freedom course series, check the links in the description and uh, go check out the courses and whatever you choose to give on Patreon. I'm uh, very, very grateful for it and I thank you in advance. If you choose to trust my teaching enough to purchase my courses, then I'm looking forward to sending you the courses. Right, check them out after you learn this. All right, so. Okay, now just play around with it. Okay, now you can do two zero on the first string, two zero on the, the second string. Okay, you can do uh, three on the second string as well. You can do four on the first string. Okay, with your little finger, you can let it go. Because if you open the third string, it's now B minor six, which is a great, great chord. Okay, and you can play four on the seventh. 
second, uh, four on the first string, and two on the second string. back to the original chord. You can build up the tension. Now when you want to change a chord, all you need to do is, if you want to play G, is open the strings. If you want to play A, you just put a bar on 2. And back to B minor. If you want to play D, okay? if you want to play D, then obviously you're gonna go to seven, bar on seven, because G, A, B major, okay, C, and D. If you need F sharp, it's gonna be on eleven. Do B minor, A on two, G on zero, and F sharp on the open uh, on the and F sharp on eleven. Did I tell you this is cool or not? playing any accompaniment in B minor, you now you know that you can play this awesome variation of B minor. So thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you the next awesome lesson. Two weekly lessons. Go check out the links in the description, the courses and the Patreon. Thank you very much and see you next lesson. Bye for now.